All right, guys, it's going to be a very special video. I have kind of an idea. I like, to, I like to think about crazy ideas sometimes. And, hey, sometimes it actually sounds like a good idea to a lot of people. Uh, even though this is kind of maybe way above my head, but I'm just thinking this might be kind of cool. Now, this video is going to be based, guys, on old school, okay? So this is going to be for all the old school players and I guess a little bit for the uh, RS3 players as well. Now, as you guys can see in the back right now, um, this is Warbands on RS3, guys. Warbands is basically a mini game you do every single day um, after reset, which is 7 p.m. for me for Eastern, I guess, um, and obviously different time zones for different people. I'm just going to give a quick run through through this uh, for all the players that have obviously never done Warbands. Uh, basically, it's a mini game for uh, skills. You can collect uh, supplies from camps, uh, like these big tents, and then you bring them back to Edgeville. Uh, and obviously, you can fight people and kill them and take their supplies and yada, yada, yada. And it gives you a really good experience. That's how I have my mining experience at like 120 million almost. Um, so anyways, as you guys can see, when EOC was put into this game, many people said, you know, PKing was completely done, um, which it basically was, especially, you know, like after a month or so after. First month or so of EOC, people tried it, didn't like it, they probably quit. Uh, and now you're able, you're able to say that RS3 does have a lot of PKing. As you guys can see in the clip in the background, I don't think I've ever been seen a war this crazy on 07 yet. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. Maybe it's happened that it just hasn't been streamed or something like this. I don't think it even gets as busy when a J mod goes in the wilderness and everyone tries to kill him. As you guys know, old school has uh, streams like that where I think it's Mod Mark or not Mod Mark, Mod, Mod, Mod Matt K. Um, I don't even see the wilderness being that busy whenever he does this. Not even close. Uh, when so wrecked, I never streamed uh, some old school like clan type of stuff. Never got this busy. Can you guys imagine how crazy it is that RS3 has this much people in the wilderness fighting when people thought that basically wilderness was completely dead? Now keep in mind that yes, Warbands is the reason why like PK is somewhat alive. Is it really alive? Not really. It's only really busy whenever it's Warbands time. Um, although this clip in the background is not during Warbands, it's a little bit after. I already got all my supplies, all my clan got their supplies. Uh, all the other clans got their supplies, they're done. This is more of just a PKing event that they do after, kind of just for pride, to be honest. Like, you know, which clan could beat which clan, yada, yada, yada. And as you can see, it was a pretty damn big event. I mean, this is something that just, you know, we, we just happened to do. This isn't streamed, no video to advertise this. It just fucking happens. That's how many people actually do war bands every single day. Now, as you can see by the amount of white uh, dots on the screen, uh, we were outnumbered by a lot of people, so I believe we did lose that pretty badly. Um, I died a few times, obviously, as you guys can tell in the background. Um, but it was a pretty fun event, even though, you know, whenever you get outnumbered, I gotta say, it's kind of boring, because you, you don't even have a chance, man. You just sit there and boom, you're dead. Now, my idea, and just fucking hear me out on this, don't fucking say fuck this, and I want to know all from the old school players right now what you guys would think about this, right? So obviously things like uh, Stadius armor, Vesta armor, uh, you know, the mage gear and the other range gear, I forget what they're called for the PvP armors back in the day. Um, you know, they were brought into the RuneScape from Killing Revenants. I was thinking, and you know, just because I see how many people do warp bends on RS3, which isn't even a freaking PKing thing, like no one really PKs on it that much. Uh, and to see how many people you guys just saw, it's kind of crazy just because of this one event. I was thinking... For old school, what happens if we were to bring war bands, but not for skilling supplies? Keep in mind, okay, just fucking bear with me. War bands on old school, right? So you get a bunch of clans, yada, 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 put them together. It's kind of sick. It really does revive the wilderness, believe it or not. I think, honestly, the old school wilderness is kind of dead. All I see is raggers. I see people streaming, boom, about three or four raggers on them, and then about two or three anti uh, rags. It's, it's not even really fun to watch. It's boring. So what would happen is basically there's going to be, you know, it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain because you old school players have never really done warbands, I would assume. So you guys don't really know exactly how it works, uh, which is why I kind of tried to explain it at the start of the video, but I don't want to drag it on for too long. It might lose some people's uh, attention. So um, basically what warbands is going to be is there's going to be six tents at each warband. And all the tents are going to have uh, basically melee, range, and mage uh, supplies in them. Now, not skilling supplies. It's going to be supplies. Uh, to make armor that used to be what we call, you know, Vesta and Stadius armor. So if you want the, I can't think of the name, the mage armor that used to be PvP. I can't think of Zerials or some shit like that. And then there was the other range one. Uh, what the hell is that called? Morgan's? Yeah, Morgan's armor. Um, and there's going to be six, six tents in total. So they're going to be high level ones, which is like the level one, the one that's 78 defense to use it. Uh, and then it's going to be the low level one, which is, I think it was 28 defense to wear it. So in total, six tents. There's going to be a low level and a high level mage range and melee. So basically for all combat styles, um, you know, whatever your defense level is. So I guess Zerker Pierce can even basically, you, you know, you guys can take the lower level ones. And anyone that's like a basically like a little bit above a DFS peer or a, just a main, I guess, even can take the higher level ones. 
Now keep in mind, this is 100% just my completely odd idea I just kind of had today after seeing how many people participate in Warbands for RS3. Even after the whole experience gaining is done with, the whole point of Warbands is to gain experience. This is after all the experience was already gained. So everyone's already done with Warbands. You can technically leave. Uh, but obviously, if you are in a clan, you're going to be asked to participate in a war, uh, which I mean, a war is, you know, like I said, it's more for pride. It's not really, you know, I mean, we're not PKing for anything. Um, if you guys didn't know, obviously, if you loot a tent, you if somebody can kill you and take your supplies. You can't trade the supplies. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I wouldn't know if, you know, maybe we can trade the armor that we make with these supplies or maybe we can't trade them. So it could be like untradeable uh, Vesta gear and, just, you know, Zerials and Morgans. Um, and maybe even like a smithing or a crafting level to create these armors. That'd be kind of cool too. Now, I just want to know you guys' opinion on this. I understand this video gets a lot of dislikes. Maybe people don't like the idea. I just thought it would be a pretty damn cool idea. And honestly, I think it would definitely revive the world. I know they're having a wilderness update on old school sometime soon for like skillers, which is pretty sweet. I, I like that update. Uh, but I mean, I, I guess during Warbands time. And Warbands is every seven hours of the day, basically. So if it's like 5 p.m., it'll be at 12, you know, midnight, then 7 in the morning. And then it'll be, you know, continue on every seven hours. So sometimes in some days, they'll do three Warbands. And some days they'll have four total Warbands. And, you know, on RS3, I mean, maybe they can change it up a little bit if they want. You know, you can loot three different tents. You can loot 75 supplies a day um, and things like that. Now, what's interesting about old school is that not everywhere in the wilderness is multi. There are some places that is not multi. So um, I think that'd be kind of cool as well. You could kind of play into, uh, I guess you, people had to figure out a path to run from all the way like level 50 wilderness uh, down to edge with the cash in, well, I guess not the cash in your supplies, but to like bank your stuff or whatever. I guess you basically go to the guy and you give him your supplies and he, he basically is like a banker for you. He'll hold your supplies and then, you know, if you have enough to make some type of armor, whatever it is, then he'll make it for you. He'll give you like, you know, invest the chain, whatever it is. Um, it's just a complete idea that I had, guys. I don't really know, honestly. I, I just know that, I mean, PKing is meant to be dead on RS3. And I got to tell you, watching streams on 07, it looks like there's a lot more PKers on old school, only during Warbands times, though. Um, and, you know, I'm wondering if this is how crazy it could be on 07 as well. As many of you guys know, you know, RS or uh, old school is mostly meant for the PKing. And then it kind of became more of like everything. There's a lot more bosses in it now. You know, they added God Wars Legend, obviously. Um, and there's also a lot of skillers as well. This is, which is why I said, well, I thought, obviously, you don't want to bring Warbands to RS or old school. Uh, because I think most of the people that play that game for skilling wise, uh, they're only playing it because they enjoy the slower methods and uh they like the way you have to basically grind them out a little bit harder there's not as much afk skills i don't really want to ruin that part of 07 bringing in warbands because warbands is very op experience um so i think i'd rather not have it as experience type of stuff more for just pvp armor you can't trade it it, it cannot possibly fuck up the economy in any way it's not like when you kill someone for rune armor that the, the rune armor disappears the person just takes it and brings it to the bank nothing is leaving the game that way anyway so it's not like it's helping the economy this way, you know, you got people fighting nonstop and shit like that. When people die, you know, not all their shit's going to be looted anyways because you don't have any space. So, I mean, this could technically be a little bit of an item sink, I, I guess. I mean, I can't tell you guys the amount of times I ran by a full royal dehyde, amount of sharks on the ground, and I didn't loot it because I had, you know, loot in my inventory, which I couldn't really fuck with. I had to go back to Edgeville before someone kills me. So, yeah, it could be a small item uh, sink, I guess. Not too much, nothing really you know, too effective, but a little bit. It's better than the current one that we have, you know, where you don't lose anything. You just, you know, and like I said, it's armor will be untradeable, which means, you know, it's going to degrade or if you die, it's, well, I guess if you die, you can protect it if you're not scald and things like that. It'll work just like the old armors used to work for uh, the wilderness, like armors, the, you know, like the ones I said, um, the vest and all that crap. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of my opinion on this idea. I don't really know about the whole Vesta longsword shit like that. Maybe they can make like a boss of that type of stuff to come out. But I think in the future, this type of stuff will probably come out uh, either way. Because, I mean, I, you know, old school is having a lot of updates that are just like RS3. I've noticed recently uh, on the newest poll for RS, for old school. Um, there's been a lot of stuff on it that are very close to the ones that are, you know, on RS3 anyways. Um, it's just a little bit different. on it. They add like a little bit of a twist on it. But most of them are very alike to it. Uh, which is what I've noticed. So it's not too much different anyways, um, but it's it's more for PKing, I guess. Now, this is a video, guys, where I do want all you guys' opinions. I want to know what you guys think. Um, and, uh, you know, I have not talked to Jax about this, by the way. So, I mean, if this gets, like, amazing ratings and everyone loves this idea, which I fucking hope they do, um, then, you know, probably Jax will notice it sometime later on. They might talk about it in live streams or things like that. But I just think it would be a pretty sweet idea. It will honestly revive the I mean, you guys could know, right? 
RS3, nobody PKs, but goddamn, did you guys see that first clip when there was like a million white dots on the goddamn map? You know, a little bit of blue dots. Which, by the way, all the blue dots on the map were, you know, people were in the same cape as me. So they're basically in the friend, same friends chat. Uh, we're on teams, obviously, and the white dots is another clan uh, wearing different capes as well that classified themselves. But anyways, um, that's kind of my video, guys, for today. I want to know you guys' opinion on this. Please tell me. I mean, I made a whole fucking video just to ask you guys' opinion on it. So don't just sit there and be like, oh, cool video, bye-bye. No, give me your goddamn opinion. You're not allowed to leave until you give me your opinion. That's it. There's an exit price. And one last thing before, I already know this video is over 10 minutes long and stuff like that, but um, I, I mean, if this ever does happen, let's just say, right, my fucking dreams come true, this shit happens, and I'm like, yeah, I made that update happen. I would really want to see how warbands would work on old school, to be honest, because I mean, right now everyone uses range because it's pretty cheap armor you can use. It's pretty overpowered as well, um, like the Royal Crossbow and things like that. Um, and you know, it's not too much if you die, so it's, it's more of like the welfare gear basically. I really wonder what it would be like on old school. I mean, mage is very overpowered on old school, I must say, because if you freeze someone, it's they can't fucking move for 30 seconds, man. That's a long time. If you get frozen, you got supplies on you, I can't imagine what would happen. You'd be fucked forever, um, especially if a clan's running your way. I mean, on RS3 right now, I kind of like the way the PvP, the PvP is kind of set up. You can anticipate and, you know, freedom and things like that. You can kind of save yourself, you know, PNX as well. Um, I guess maybe PNX for old school could basically uh, make you immune to being able to get frozen or something. It'd be kind of cool. I don't really know. It could be an update. Maybe I don't really know. Uh, that might ruin some PK hybriding. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't think hybrids bring PNX anyways. There's, there's almost like no point. It's only like low levels, to be honest. I guess that could be a cool update in the future for them as well, if this ever happens. But yeah, it'd be very interesting, interesting to see how this would ever work on old school, especially with the whole thing where the wilderness is like, it's multi in some areas. In some areas, obviously, it's not. Um, I think that'll be very interesting to see how that kind of works out. Because um, on RS3 right now, basically, there's like a toggle option where you can put it on multi or non-multi. Um, and it takes maybe about five or ten seconds to toggle it on and off. You can toggle it while you are in the wilderness, so you know if you guys want to know that. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool. Anyways, my idea. Hopefully, and before there's a fucking thread on this tomorrow, and I don't upload upload this video in time, and someone takes my idea and it fucking works, just like freaking revolution. Anyways, I would like to thank you guys for listening to my video today. I hope you guys have listened to the whole thing. And like I said, there's an exit price. You must tell me your opinion on this. Uh, but I mostly, I mean, okay, if you if you play RS3 as well, give me your opinion as well on it. Uh, but don't be all like, well, fuck old school, it's going to die. Like, don't give me that shit, please. Just fucking be a human, be a nice person for once, and be like, yeah, I think I think old school would like that, to be honest. I would agree. I think that's a great idea. All right, if you play old school, give me your actual idea and your opinion on it. Um, and if you have any ways you guys want to change it as well, obviously, go ahead and post your comments. I'll be reading every single comment on this video. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you guys next time with probably a normal video where I don't talk about something crazy that might happen and might not happen. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and yeah, so you guys just watched 11 minutes of agility. So I think this is Jibrim's favorite video. Actually, he probably hates it because how many times I've probably lost experience here and there. Oh, look, we're almost at leak time. I don't think we can do it. Honestly, I don't know why, but YouTube adds one second to every single video whenever you upload it. So, like, you got to make it, like, 13. I got to add my intro still and shit. So, let's see. One, two. Leak timing now?